But up next, of course, we are going to uh, talk about something that I find funny. Warhammer 40k. Warhammer 40k. So if we really wanted to talk about this, female custodies. <laughs> There have been so many fucking idiots that are like, oh no, the female custodies, how dare they? I'm like, bro, you are in a universe where fucking, oh my god, this is the type of shit, by the way. Just, just so you guys know, fucking people like this are so strange to me. Because they always want to be able to be like, the wokeisms, the wokeisms. These are the people that fucking complain about fucking woke shit. Really? You think that in a series, in a, in a fucking enterprise type shit, in a fucking IP where orcs, the orcs literally power their weapons through manifestation yes how do orc weapons work <laughs> i've been playing 40k since i was like 12 but i want to i will basically want you to understand orcs just make it work I just want you guys to understand. Orcs use their psychic abilities to just say, you push this button over here and then you step on that pedal and then you turn this wheel left and uh, other left to steer. Stupid, Yumi. Shit like that. Like, this is how it works. <laughs> what? This is how it works. They make it work because they think it works. And people like this cry. They fucking cry over female custodies being confirmed and canon. People like this fucking bitch. This bitch can't understand that you're in the entire fucking game is so dumb you need to understand this is the lore what do you mean they're so fucking dumb when they forget that orcs are an entire army based off of i manifest this gun to work this is how i make this gun work this is how fucking losers like this whine about all of it uh, really? Who cares? You're so fucking dumb. Everyone's like, oh, they're just shoehorning it. Bro, it's a fucking tabletop game. If you're going to complain about this shit, my God, complain about the fact that orc shit doesn't make sense. Complain about the fact that like, oh, they're high gothic, yet we don't have any real, like, tech that would be around our stuff? Or is it the fact that Slanesh is literally the whore goddess who's fucking being like, Oi, give me a banger's mash. God, I fucking hate the community around this shit. A good meme. Hey, did you know that female custodies are now canon? Oh, are they? Yeah, but what's your thoughts on it? I see this as a poorly thought-out attempt at trying to please everyone. Well, I'm going to go on Twitter and- <laughs> What's the matter with him? Twitter is more volatile than the warp, mate. <coughs> that dreadnought there used to be a shield captain. What happened? He impaled himself on a guardian sphere after being on Twitter for longer than five minutes. By the throne! Hey! Yeah. That's literally it. The only people really caring are fucking wild pussies. 40k woke corruption is here. 
Oh, and just so everyone knows, it's not cock. It's just a tall woman. Tall woman. But my god, these people are so dumb. All of you that are whining about, like, oh, the female custodies, the woke corruption. Y'all don't get pussy for shit. Y'all don't get pussy. You guys, guys like this, like this Asmogen freak, are probably on watch lists for rape outright bro it's so fucking dumb there we go Custodian Calidus Taravelia Cash, also known as the first female custodies, is one of the most interesting recent additions to the Warhammer 40k lore. Introduced to us in a new 10th edition Custodius Codex, she's on a mission to completely exterminate this Terra, hoping to finish her masterful version of the Blob Games. In the story, she is hiding in a Cobra class destroyer ship orbiting Terra, approaching the Imperial Palace with noticeable haste to plant her prepared cyclonic missile. Her perfect Custodius physique and mentality allows her to stay within the shadows, playing the incompetent crew members like instruments to perfectly yes chat they should be happy like oi oi the women they should be happy women are able to get into these fucking games be like oh hey i will build these model kits with you oh hey i will paint the fucking army with you that's every fucking 40k nerds dream bro Every fucking 40k playing nerds dream. Give us a big titty goth GF who plays 40k. Hell, pretty women, 40k. And all of you freak out. Oh, the women are making it woke. The fuck? The fuck? <laughs> Like, I'm not even going on a woke rant. I'm just like, you guys are so fucking gay that y'all should just not want to fuck women. A majority of you just want to fuck other men. Like, that's how a lot of you fucking idiots act, and it's pathetic. Like, this one's a pretty good fucking first female custodies. She just wants to fucking get blood for the blood god execute her plan. Yet, right before she arrives within the Golden Palace, she preemptively feels the space-time distortion of a teleportation lock, being greeted by a squad of Alaris Terminators that have somehow caught onto her schemes and are here to put an end to her blood games. Although we don't know everything yet, it's interesting to see that the blood games are allowed to reach such insane conclusions. Imagine if Cash did actually succeed in exterminating Sing Terra. Like, really? You guys are against one of like actual crazy fucking stories like this i just i'm more disappointed that fucking losers are whining people fucking whine about oh my god the women are here the gays are here the black people are here bro you don't want seven foot tall muscle mommies you don't want hot women in armor you're fucking lame, you're pussies, and you're scared of reality, motherfuckers. Y'all fucking suck. Or... My god, you are too fucking scared to do any shit. And it's every video wa talking about it are the ones that are crying. They're crying. And it's all by guys like this. The ones and that look like pedophiles. They look like fucking freaks. They look like giant fucking losers. Like, what? You guys fucking whine about this shit. Really? You guys are so fucking scared of oh, female custodies? Oh, my law. My law. The law is broken. Of course, fucking Yellow Flash, the biggest fucking grifter and pussy in the world. It's fucking dumb. Like, outright, he's a fucking bitch. And, my god, I hope people like him lose everything. Just because his content sucks. Not because of his political beliefs, it's just his 